Good morning, good morning from God's Healing Hearts Ministry. Co-Pastor Herman, I mean, <clears throat> Pastor Herman and Co-Pastor Yvonne Foster. Um, sorry about the little um, extreme difficulty we're having this morning. We're having some type of uh, difficulties with, uh, there's an error on my <clears throat> communications with, I'm not sure what the technology issue is this morning, but there's some type of an error that went out when I was trying to do the Facebook Live and uh, Facebook Live is um, seemed to be okay, but there's a connection in with it and YouTube and Facebook together as I do every Sunday. For some reason, I'm having some uh, technical issues. I think the issues are with uh, something that happened prior during the week with my uh, technology and there because it's been saying error all week and error on when I come up with my Healing Hearts Ministry uh, dot info. So I think that there was something, uh, there's a website that I have and it's, uh, it, there's a yearly, annual yearly uh, rotation that goes and there was some uh, things that happened in there were there's some little issues that's being straightened out. So uh, are we working on, I'd ask you to, to uh, be patient and work with us and please forgive us for that technology. <clears throat> little technology problem and dispute, but we will, I assure you, uh, where my technical team is working on it, and we will re resolve it soon. But so uh, what I'm doing today is I'm, I am recording this morning's service, and then I will download it later and onto YouTube. Uh, and then the following week, I'm sure I'll come in and let you know we should be back to normal for next Sunday <clears throat> with the technology. For this Sunday, please engage on all the Facebook uh, live, uh, live streaming uh, for you to get this message from today. Amen, amen, amen. So once again, I just want to welcome you. And it is a pleasure to come, let, allow me to come into your homes and be before you uh, this morning. God woke us up, didn't he? he? He put our feet on solid ground. He turned us around. Yes, hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. God is such a gracious God. He is, his goodness just runs after us. And anytime you're in the presence of the Lord, it is a blessing. His goodness is running after me. I always say God's goodness is running after me. I'm a nobody just trying to tell somebody about the, Jesus, about the birth of Jesus Christ. That's all. You know, we don't uh, try to boast and brag about ourselves. When I say I'm nobody, doesn't mean that I'm not anybody. I'm a child of God. Of course, we're somebody. But I'm trying to say, don't make yourself somebody to let, uh, don't make yourself the only one to let someone know about Jesus Christ. That's why my model is, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody named Jesus Christ. That's all. That's all what uh, this God's Healing Hearts Ministry do here. And so we're going to go forward with uh, church without further ado. Uh, we got a, I got a great word from God for you. Um, I worked on it all week and it was, you know, struggling with uh, what, to, what to speak about. Uh, sometimes that happens. I was talking with my other colleague, a friend, good friend of mine, Bishop, and he was saying sometimes God doesn't give them to him. He walks up in front of the throne. So... Uh, you know, it's uh, God will never, he's seldom early, but never late. I said, I didn't say he couldn't be early, but I said he's seldom early, but never late. So just remember that he is seldom early and never late. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so we're going to let God show up and show out once again today, as he always does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, um. I hear co-pastor back there in the background, so I know she's about ready. We're going to get service started here. So I'm going to bring up the co-pastor, and she's going to do the scriptures, the prayer, <clears throat> and um, and our statement of faith and so forth. And I'll get to the word. We want to get this word in here. Uh, didn't we have a, 
a great Mother's Day last weekend, everyone, and, and a full uh, week. But yo, like he said, whoa, Father's Day is coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so uh, fathers, don't get ahead of yourself, but it's coming. We ain't forgot about you. In June, I got something good for you. Um, uh, we are just wanted to say, just before I bring her up, uh, yesterday we had a granddaughter that graduated from high school. Isn't God good? We are. He has allowed us to walk this earth another year so that we can see our generations, uh, generations and generations uh, come through what we've been through and then and allow them to have her great day. And um, it was such a blessing to see her in the school. It brought me back to some memories of the school. We're back in our basketball days when we were in that school. I was telling my wife that this has been a long time since I've been in this gym. But I remember this gym. We didn't like it. And, uh, you know, there's some things about uh, some of those old schools we went to back in the day. We've been around a while. So that's a good thing. You know, um, I'm not afraid to tell my age. I've been around a while. A few decades, at least six. That's a blessing. That's generations. You've been around six decades. You should have some grandkids, maybe even some great grandkids. So you thank God for those things. And we were able to see our granddaughter walk down the aisle. It was awesome. It's an awesome occasion. Uh, she's growing up. Soon she'll be going off to college. Just how things go. Next thing you know, you might you you know she'll probably have an addition to the family. It's just just blessings behind blessings. And don't tell me that my God ain't good. Don't I do not want to hear that. Because God is good all the time and all the time good. Amen. 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 We want to get this service started here. So at this time, without further ado. Give, I'm going to bring to you co-pastor at this time. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. You are worthy to be praised. I need to show you something. What? Yeah, I told you about that already. Yeah, yeah, I, I right. spoke to the people okay. about that. So That's what I'm just showing you. I, I, did, I did it manually this time, so it's going forward. All right, now. Hallelujah. Good morning. Yeah. God bless you. Thank yeah, God uh, for your you spirit. For the, thank you for your anointing, you your power. That, so you don't have to use it. See that piece of paper? That's yeah, thank that's you. All your things right there on there. All right. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, uh, Pastor. I appreciate you. God bless each and every person that are watching this morning. I thank you for streaming live uh, via my Facebook mm -hmm. or YouTube. Hallelujah. Or however the Lord permits it to go uh, throughout uh, the Internet. We thank God for you. God is so wonderful this morning. He woke you up this morning. He woke us up this morning. And I am grateful. I am grateful uh, if the sun don't shine. I, I know God is still good. When the sun do shine, I'm even more grateful because I know he has total control over everything in the earth. And everything that belongs to him is on the earth, including his people. So God bless you. Welcome to God's Healing Heart Ministry. You are truly uh, uh, honored to uh, oh. Uh, to be with us. You are such a wonderful God, and, and uh, you are truly a wonderful uh, people to, to um, just take that time out to listen to a word of God uh, from no, no, him. No. So, thank God. I, um, excuse me. I apologize for, I didn't realize that the camera wasn't on you. So I still had the camera. The camera was facing the back. Oh, okay. So all the time. So I apologize to you earlier for that. Um, now you can see you can see us. Uh, everything I said before, you were hearing me, but you weren't seeing me. Uh, we're having some diff technical difficulties, something with errors on there. I was letting uh, co-pastor know that's why I put this here for you mm -hmm. for that. Thank you. Because there's some technical errors, probably because of the credentials that was lost. And okay. now it's saying error okay. on everything. So that was the, the thing. Okay. But it's some, a part of Satan always trying to stick <laughs> its head up. But he's not going to stop us from going forth. Mm -hmm. We're going forth and um, work with us. And I assure you that our technical guy, I called uh, him yesterday and he's working on it. And we will have it uh, rectified soon. And so now we're going to go forth. So go to YouTube. Uh, go to Facebook. YouTube, I'll download to you later because of the technical difficulties. Amen. And uh, you have to go through the paper there, dear. Okay. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. And so, once again, thank you for tuning in to God's Healing Hearts Ministry, uh, Pastor Herman Foster and Co-Pastor Yvonne Foster of God's Healing Heart Ministry. It's such a pleasure 
um, that you are tuning in with us. It is such a blessing that um, you are listening to us. And I believe that there is a Raymond word for you. Hallelujah. And as God has given it, as my husband would speak today, Pastor Foster would speak today, he will give you what God has given him to give out to you. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Just give God some praise. Hallelujah. I just want to honor him this morning and every day of my life. I thank God for you, Lord. I just thank you for your spirit. I just want to give you your praise because you are a wonderful God and no one's like you. You are the true living God. Amen. Uh, my scriptures today, I will be coming from, we'll come from, let's go, let's go with Psalms 121. Psalms 121. Amen. <clears throat> and the word reads, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Yeah. The maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. Come on, God. Thank you for your benefits. He, will, he, he who watches over you will not slumber. Mm -hmm. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. And the sun will not harm you by the day nor the, noon, nor the moon by night. Verse 7 says, the Lord will keep you, whew, glory to God, the Lord will keep you from all harm. Yes, he will. He will watch over your life, your entire life. From the time you came into this world, the Lord will watch over your entire life if you know him. Hallelujah. And if you don't know him, he's still going to watch over it because he wants you to know who he is. Amen. The Lord will watch over your coming, your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Turn with me now to Romans chapter 5. Better be Romans chapter 5, starting in verse 1. And the word reads, therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace yeah. with God through our Lord mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. You know, if you're suffering, you're going through something, it's going to produce something. Whatever you're going through is going to produce something. Hallelujah. Yeah. It produces perseverance and then perseverance going to also produce the character of God. Come on. And the character of hope and hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. His love has been poured out into our hearts. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for the blessing of the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. You are so worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. Our statement of faith reads, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that, may, that my house may be filled. Our statement of faith reads, We believe the Bible to be inspired and only infallible written word of God. We yeah. also believe that there is one God, eternal existence, and three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of church, God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance, faith in precious blood of Jesus Christ, and the gospel according to 
Romans 9, pardon me, Romans 10, 9 through 10. We believe that the regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe that the redemptive Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body in answer to believe in prayer. We also believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. Yes, Lord. We believe in the sanctified power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in the present world. Yes, and Lord. everyone will say, Amen. 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 Woo. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit. Hallelujah. So wonderful, God. Hallelujah. Our vision is also to our vision. Our vision is also to re, to place emphasis on holiness, sanctification, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit as a way of life. We are to teach Jesus Christ as the only begotten of the Father, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts four and twelve. We look forward to the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When he rose back the sky, who glory, come Lord Jesus. When he rose back the sky at his appearance, we shall be caught up to meet him in the air. Amen. Woo, glory. Hallelujah. When he rose back the, the heavens, when he rose back the sky, Hallelujah. We shall be caught up with him. Hallelujah. He come to, to uh, proclaim everything. Hallelujah. And that should give you some faith. That should give you some joy. That should give you some peace. Hallelujah. Knowing that God is real and he is going to return back on that special day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you, God, for being who you are, God. I pray that your word will continue to go out into the world, God, of north, south, east, and west of the globe. I pray that your people will get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I pray that they will get the word and understand the word. I pray that they will be able to get wisdom from the word as you drop these nuggets in our spirit to pour out to your sons and daughters, God. Let them grab to the nuggets. Let them grab a nugget. Let them grab it and let them uh, put it in their heart and put it in their body and put it in their spirit so they'll know what to do in such a time as this. Even though we live in perilous times, even though we live in a wicked time, God, you still good. You still God. Hallelujah. And no weapon formed against none of your people shall prosper in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now. If somebody is sick and shut in in their homes or in the hospital, God, we pray for healing in their body, God. We pray that you touch them from the top of their head, God, to the soles of their feet, God, and let the healing bomb of Gideon uh, cleanse out any toxins, uh, any things that's in their body that shouldn't be. Pluck it out. Uh, get it out the way and heal it and uh, to the utmost, God. Uh, we come against migraine headaches. Uh, we come against asthma. Uh, we come against a heart uh, uh, that is uh, cluttered. Uh, we come against uh, the mind that is uh, the, uh, or the enemy trying to come in the mind and make them feel indifferent. Uh, we come against mental illness. Hallelujah, God. We see an increase. Uh, but God, you are God that sees all. Uh, you are God that knows. Uh, cleanse and purify your sons and daughters. Uh, <clears throat> and heal their bodies. Hear their minds from mental illness, God. Uh, touch their mind, Lord. Uh, we rebuke drugs. Uh, we rebuke anything that is keeping them in bondage. Uh, we bind up the enemy now. Uh, loose them and let them free. Uh, we bind up heroin addicts. Uh, we bind up people that are on drugs. Uh, Deliver them and set them free, God. Uh, loose them and let them free. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, from people that's on pills. Uh, you're addicted to pills. Uh, but today, God wants to heal you. Uh, God wants to deliver you. Uh, and set you free from pain pills. Uh, set you free from those pills that overtake your body and your mind. Uh, today is the day of salvation, he says. Uh, today is the day that the word will go forth. Uh, and you will be cleansed and purified. Uh, all he needs is a yes. All he needs is you to say, yes, Lord. I'm on my way. I'm coming. Come run. Run to the water where the water is free, where you can step in the water and it'll purify your body.
body. It'll purify your heart. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, deliver your people around the world. We come against anybody that's trying to make a profit off your sons and daughters, trying to deceive them, trying to be one way and when they're another way. Remove the wolf clothing. Remove the clothing off them so that so the wolf will come forth. Hallelujah. Remove the sheep clothing so they can be exposed in the name of Jesus. So they won't uh, uh, have your people uh, going down the wrong road, uh, going the wrong direction. Uh, but God, we pray for around the world uh, a heart of repentance. Uh, repent and be free uh, so God can be in your life, uh, so God can move in your life. Uh, it said in 121 in Psalms, uh, He'll be there in your coming uh, and your going. Uh, and that's the God we serve. Uh, you see, he don't want you to be left out. Uh, you see, he don't want you to not know who he is. Uh, he, you see, he just wants you to be God. He wants you to show, he wants to show himself in your life. Uh, all you got to do is say yes. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, I'm tired of me. Uh, I'm tired of doing this. Uh, I'm tired of doing that. Uh, I'm tired of being frustrated. Uh, I'm tired of being worried. Uh, I'm tired of the phobias. Uh, I'm tired of the fear. Huh? I'm tired of the drugs. Huh? I'm tired of the mental illness. Huh? Oh, God, huh? help your sons and daughters today. Huh? Bless them huh? and let them be saved and filled with your Holy Spirit, God. Thank you right now. Huh? Bless ones that's in jail. Huh? Anybody that's in jail that's been unjustly uh, uh, been ruled and it wasn't right, huh? oh, God, set them free. Huh? Let the lawyers get all the evidence huh? and set them free. Huh? Bring your sons out. Huh? Bring your daughters out, God. Huh? We thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Huh? Thank you for your spirit. Huh? Bless your little children. Huh? Cover them and protect them. Huh? Remove the guns in the house, God. Huh? Don't let the enemy set it up as a plot huh? for the kids to find a gun. Huh? Oh, God, hide it. Huh? Hide it in the safe. Huh? Hide it in the wall. Huh? But God, let the parents or parents be mindful where they leave their weapons. Huh? Oh, God, no more. No more of the children going to school with the guns huh? and, 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 and accidentally hurt somebody. We come against it right now. Huh? We come against the bullies. Huh? We come against anybody trying to do people wrong. Huh? Hallelujah. Let them baby treat people right. Huh? Be kind. Huh? Be gentle with your words. Huh? Be loving huh? in the name of Jesus, God. But heal your land, God. You said the earth is yours and everything that belongs on it and belongs in it. So, for, for, for Father, bless right now and touch your people. Touch your pastors. Touch your apostles. Touch your uh, disciples. Touch your leaders. Touch your uh, uh, your reverence, touch your doorkeeper at the house. We thank you for the word being going forth in the house of the Lord, the word going forth online. We thank you for that, God, and we thank you for moving for such a time as this. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank God for you. And guess what? I know you're moving. Yeah, shake it up. I know you're working on their hearts. And so, Father, be so. Hallelujah. Draw your sons and daughters today so they can be free from the enemy's yoke. Thank you for it. In Jesus' name, I pray, I thank you, amen and amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now, now I welcome up uh, Pastor Herman Foster of God's Healing Heart Ministry. We give him a warm welcome. Amen. God bless amen. you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory thank you, Jesus. to you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Worthy of all praise. Woo! Thank you. You are so worthy. Thank you, God. Woo! Set your people free, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's your co pastor. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for the prayer. Thank God for her scriptures. We uh, want to thank God for all, everything that went forth from co pastor. We come in agreement with it. Um, we just want to thank God for her obedience. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So at this time, uh, we'll move forward with the service. Hallelujah. Once again, I apologize for the technical di uh, issues today. We are having some serious technical yeah. issues uh, with the um, the connections. Uh, just say an error, error on everything. So uh, there is something going on with the 
technology, you know, Satan just tries to do everything that he can. But in the midst of your trouble, yeah, Jesus probably. said, I will be with you. He didn't say you wouldn't have troubles. He said he'll be with you. So we have a way, we have an antidote, and we have a way around everything. So if you want to try and stop us, Jesus said it won't happen because, yeah. you know, there is a thing called manual. So we are doing it manually today. I have to download the YouTube, but Facebook Live is here. And I have a word for you. So let's get to the word. Absolutely. I'll be expeditiously, speedily today. I promise you uh, I have a point. And it won't be born, but it is good. So let me give honor to who's ahead of my life, um, the Heavenly Father. Father, at God, I come to you this morning with a thanksgiving heart. I ask you to speak through me like never before, Lord. I come out with my outstretched hands, Lord, asking you to use me once again. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I minister to your people. God, anoint these lips of clay. Lord, ask you that everything proceeded to be the truth. God, fill me with your spirit so I can speak to your people. I say all these things in your son Jesus' name. Thank God, amen. Amen, amen. Thank God for Jesus. Uh, my text today is, faith comes from hearing. Faith comes from hearing. Um, I'm gonna be coming out of Romans 10, one through 15. And also, Romans 10, 16 through 21. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read through some scriptures, and then I'll come back, and I'll, I will, uh, my main scriptures will be 5 through 17. So we will uh, focus and elaborate on those scriptures. Um, right now, I'm going to start out, get your Bibles, folks, and go with me to Romans 10, starting with verse one. When you say got it, to, I mean, when you have it, say got it. I'm gonna read through, then I'll come back, and then I'll elaborate where I wanna make my first point, second point, and third and final point. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. All right, so here, let's go. Okay, starting Romans 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart desires and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bear them record that I have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Verse four, for Christ is the end of the law for the righteousness to everyone that believeth. Okay, starting with verse five will be part of the main verse. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law. The man which doeth those things shall live by them. Uh-huh. But six, the righteousness which is of faith speaks on the wise, speaks on this wise. Say not in thine heart whom shall ascend into heaven. That is to bring Christ down from above. Seven, or who shall descend into the deep? Question mark. This is to bring up Christ again from the dead. So eight, but what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart, that is the word of faith, which we preach. Which we preach, okay? Go to verse 9. I'm reading all through these verses, and I'm going to come back, and I'll start elaborating on them for you. Verse 9, that if thou shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, 
and shall believe in thine heart that God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, I'll give you a lot of elaboration on that in a moment. Uh, verse 10, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made until salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Verse 12, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich and unto all that call upon him. Verse 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall, verse 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Well, 15, and how shall they preach except they be sent? Well, there's another question mark. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of the peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Uh-huh. A couple more verses here, and then we'll get to the real business. Okay. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Ananias said, Lord, who have believed our report? Verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, which is a text for today. But I say, have not have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. But 19, but I say, did not Israel know? First Moses say, I will provoke the, to the jealousy by them that are no people and by the foolish nations, I will anger you. But Ananias is very bold and say, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. And the final verse 21, but to the Israel he said, all day long I have stretched forth my hands unto the disobedience of the gainsaying people. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, so let God add a blessing to his word. Now we're gonna get down to business here. And I'm going to talk to you and explain to you my point one, point two, and final point three about faith comes from hearing. Okay, faith comes from hearing, folks, believe it or not, because here's the reason why I say faith comes from he a hearing, co-pastor, is because of the fact faith comes from hearing to see it is to believe it. How can you see it if you don't believe it? Because we walk by faith and not by sight. Because faith is things we hope for. Things that, that we have not seen. How, how, how can you have faith on uh, something that you already saw and you already know about? But we have seen the goodness of Jesus Christ because we have seen the healing that he's done. That is faith. We have seen the healing that he's done. He's made the blind man see, he made the lame walk, and he raised Lazarus from the dead. So we know he's a healer, and that is all by faith. The lady with the issues of blood was healed by faith. So we know that that is hearing, is by faith, it comes by hearing. Those things you heard, those things you read, that comes by hearing. You are hearing the faith so then that's why I say faith comes by hearing because you are hearing it. Now, now, if you had not heard it, you would have not. You would say, who is this? Who are they talking about? Who is Jesus? You know, what is Jesus about? You heard about Jesus. Am I right about it? Everybody's heard about Jesus. Some, have, some believe, some don't believe. But you have heard about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have heard about him being 
put up on the cross between those two things. You have heard. Faith comes by hearing because of what you heard. But the word is the truth, the way, and the life. God said, I am the truth. I am the way, and I am the life. No man come unto the Father but through me. Now, you've heard all these things. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about your faith. Go with me to verse 5, where it says, For Moses describes the righteousness, which is the law. That man which do those things shall live by. But the righteousness which is faith speaks on the wide, saying, Not in the heart, we shall ascend into heaven, that it brings Christ down from above. And or we shall descend into the deep that brings Christ again from the dead. So what they, but back in the, in, the, in the Old Testament, it was about the law. We no longer live under the law. We live under the new covenant from the Son, Jesus Christ. We live, we are, uh, we are peculiar people because we have been blessed with the Son of God. God's Son came here. So you heard about him. That's why my message, the text today is about faith comes from hearing. So, so now let me explain and get into the deepness of this here. Now, now faith means putting our full confidence in the things that we hope for. It means being certain that of the things that we cannot see. We have to be certain of it. And before you can uh, be certain of something, you have to have the faith. You must have faith. Faith without works is dead. Let me say that one more time. Faith without works is dead. So you must put the work in. The work in, you must keep pressing through. When times get hard, you keep pressing to the higher mark to what is worth waiting for. That is eternal life. We are pressing forward for eternal life. We have faith because we've heard about eternal life. And then we get the proof of the faith from the precious Holy Ghost. The precious Holy Ghost is your proof. It is the proof. And we must have proof because we have faith. Faith is things you have not seen. It is things that we hope for. And our hope comes from believing. Our hope comes from the poor Heavenly Father. Our hope comes from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember back in the day when I was a young little boy at our church, we used to have um, uh, the old, the, um, the, the uh, late Bishop Bonner that um, groomed us and raised us and taught us everything about Christ and did it for a lot of people in the world, a, trade a trailblazer. He had a sister named Mother Amos, and she would always sit back in the church, folks. She would always sit back there. You'd always see her in the back. And she would say, and uh, she'd be looking around like she was dazed off while Bishop would be preaching. And every now and then you would see her scream out, Ho! You know, and we as little kids, we thought it was so funny because now that lady sleep. And then she got, and then every now and then Bishop would hit a, he'd hit a little, he hit a uh, note in his, in his preaching and he'd raise the hairs up on her back, so to speak. He'd say, you know, you get my analogy. Hope! Well, that would come out of her mouth. So hope are the things that you have not seen. Hope is faith. It is faith. It's what it all ties up in a nutshell. And I brought up that uh, thing about Mother Amos and uh, she was a trailblazer as well for the church. Praying lady, praying all the time, 24-7, 365 days a year. If she was in anywhere, she didn't live but a few blocks from the church. And if you always seen her, she was making her way to the church because of the hope and her faith. Because she had the faith. You see the the uh, more of the time we get a lot of our faith and hope and hearing from our mothers and our grandmothers. And, you know, as much as, uh, you know, our father's help were there too uh, because we got pastors, we got bishops, we got apostles. So they, 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 they are 
also trailblazers. They are also stellars in the community. They do an awesome job. So, so um, they're the, you know we 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 we, we want to look about them. But right now we're talking about faith. Uh, come up on Father's Day. I have something for you for about the fathers. We'll raise them up as well. Uh, we need them both, father and mother. But the thing I was saying is, is the mother last weekend had just passed, and how great everybody showed the love to their mothers. And co pastor brought you um, some uh, a message about mothers. Uh, quite all over the world, um, women and missionaries and evangelists were bringing the word, and pastors and co pastors were bringing the word about uh, a woman. And what that awesome gift God gave. Those women carries a kid. So we have to respect them for that. And respect them because, you know, because it, uh, it, is, the, it is the love and the way of life. And, and you need to just do those things. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's just uh, God is good. You know, and, he, and it takes a man and a woman to run this world. That's why God put them both here. So don't make them... Don't make no mistake about it. Amen? Amen. So getting back to the uh, message, faith comes from hearing. Now, the word faith came from a Greek word called pitis. Pitis. It's spelled P-I-S-T-I-S. The word faith came from that Greek word, pitis. So and that's what faith means. That's what came from in the Greek language. Um, everything's been translated, folks. So, you know, and, and faith is mean that that word patis means meaning assurance, belief, belief, especially the reliance upon Christ for our salvation. We rely upon Christ for our salvation, co pastor. We salvation, we rely on Christ for that. And so this means faith. Rely upon Christ. Now, you know, and, and see, faith comes from hearing. Listen to, we listen to songs, uh, you know, on movie radio, we listen to church songs, we listen to uh, gospel singing, we listen to praise and worship. That's faith. Is in the hearing. When you hear the praise and worship, you hear the songs. It can make your heart rejoice. You can hear it and makes your soul feel good. It just makes it feel good. The faith will make the demons and hell tremble. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing. I say it again. Faith comes by hearing. So that can increase your faith. Faith that our works are dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make no stop, make no doubt about it. Now, faith is in the visible. It's the principles which it which are of the good news. Faith is the principles of the good news. So, so basically, it is invisible, but yet you have that conscience, and you know you have over here. You have this other side of this conscience, which. Uh, like the little, you remember the movie uh, uh, Flintstones where you had the kazoo. You had one kazoo over here. He had the the dove like uh, kind of sense with the with the. He had the. He was like an angel from heaven. And then you had this other kazoo on this side with the pitchfork, uh, a symbol of the devil. What we real, what we picture ourselves as what the devil would look like. We don't want to meet him, but we have a picture in our mind that he looks like this thing with a pitchfork. Because he's always trying to stab, kill, steal, and destroy. That's all he's about. And when he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, he brings pills. He brings destruction. He brings drugs. He brings fortification. He brings everything to the table that that fleshly body can bring forth. He keeps it. He's like a roving lion. He's running around, wolving around, looking where he can sneak in. Looking for a little corner where you can come in, just an edge, just a little drop. Drop your hat there, Pastor. Just drop it a little bit. Just drop your guard a little bit so I can get in. And we have to keep pressing to the higher mark on this side with that angel. With the, we have to stick with Jesus Christ and bleed the blood on him and keep crushing his head. Keep crushing it and stomping it and mashing it and just getting him out of there. 
because we got the blood of Jesus. He's the, Jesus, he conquered death on the cross. Death has no sting because of Jesus Christ. You hear me? Death has no sting. God, Jesus had conquered death. He went through death to life. They tried to put him in the tomb. You can go there, it's empty. He's on the throne with the heavenly father in front of us. Jesus is alive. And we believe in Jesus. We believe he was rose from the dead. And we believe he's alive. If you go with me to Romans uh, uh, 10, uh, go with me to Romans 10 uh, and verse 9. I want you all to know that Jesus said that if thou shalt confess uh, with thy mouth uh, the Lord is Jesus, uh, and I shall believe in the heart, and God has raised him from the dead, uh, and I shall be saved. Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. That's what he said, and that is Romans 10, verse 9. That's the Lord's Prayer. And anyone that repeats that, and at the end of the service, we'll give you a window to come in, and uh, you can repeat it after me, and you can repeat it with me, and then you will be saved. That verse is the Lord's Prayer, and you shall be saved. That is faith by hearing. What you just heard me say was faith comes from hearing. We heard the word. The word is by hearing. The word is faith. The word is believing in him. Uh -huh. Now what I need you to do with me is uh, faith comes from hearing. And it's the good news about Jesus Christ. Faith is confirmation that Jesus lives. Faith is confirmation that Jesus lives. Full confidence that he lives. You must have full confidence that Jesus lives. Fully assuring, don't let no one take you off of your solid rock. Because you said there's a song they say they got, take me to the rock. Take me to the rock. You know, take me to the rock. He's my cornerstone. Hallelujah. He's my cornerstone. And there's certain proof of things. Faith is certain proof of things that Jesus Christ lives. Faith is certain, certainly proof that Jesus Christ lives. And faith is things you cannot see, folks. So don't Think just, you always have that hope and you can feel it. Sometimes when the Holy Ghost hits you, you get the best feeling in your life. You know, like some people rely on drugs to get a feeling. I think co Pastor was praying earlier about pain pills that make you feel good. I know we're all guilty of it. Listen to me. I'm not saying that you can't have a pain pill when you give them. People have a headache, we go to Advil. Uh, some take aspirins. Uh, some take, uh, you know, some ibuprofen. Uh, some take uh, North Coast. Some take uh, any type of uh, opioid to get the pain down. I'm telling you that Jesus is your pain pill. Uh, I'm telling you Jesus is your pain pill. Now, he can take all your pain away. You got aching knees. Uh, you got arthritis in your back. Uh, you know, you got you know, your bones. Is, is just moving all around and things are wrong. But you understand that Jesus is the way the truth and the life. He, he, he is your pain pill. He's that comforter. Hallelujah. Boy, I tell y'all, I feel like, boy, you know, if I wish I had some music today. Uh, I would holler a whoo for y'all today. But, you know, uh, I'm telling you that Jesus is your pain pill. He is the pain pill. He's the antidote. Woo. Yes, Lord, he's the antidote. He'll take care of it for you. He will take care of it for you. Hallelujah. You know, faith is what we need to please God. Faith comes by hearing. Now, faith is what we need to please God. Hallelujah. Faith is what we need to please God. We can't please him if we don't have faith. Folks, we can't please him if we don't have faith. Time is getting away. I got feeling real good up in here. I have a couple of some, um, I have uh, the scriptures I read to you. I want you to, you guys to... Uh, uh, stick with those things. Read them all week. Make sure that you um, let this stuff meditate in your heart. 
And remember, to see it is to believe it. Two main things we need to have is for faith. My first point of this message for today, I told you it would be short. The first point of this message today is the first point that God, you must believe that God exists. First of all, you must believe God exists. Amen? You must believe. My first point is that you must believe God exists. If you don't believe God exists, I don't know how you're going to get your faith started, start working on your faith. So your faith comes by hearing. So you first, you, you've heard about him. You have to believe he exists. And then you have to search. Point two, you must search for God's existence. Search, study, read, ask God. God, tell me how I can, you can show me that you exist. You just ask God. Say, God, I, I've heard about you. I want to know about everything about you. I don't want nothing left out. God, I want I want to know what my grandmothers and mothers, fathers, uncles, and, uh, and grandpas and all were talking about. Why do they believe in this Jesus Christ? You must believe he exists. And then search. Open up your heart for him. Get humble and meek. Because the word says every tongue will confess and every knee will bow. That's the word. That's the word now. You can't take from it and you can't add to it. One thing about the word is faith comes from hearing. His word is the same today and the same tomorrow and forever. That you must believe. They make no doubt about it. I know too much about it to doubt it. And I'll let you know it's the good news of Jesus Christ. Because he will do the same for you what he done for me. He has no respectable people. Don't you get it wrong? I don't care how low he is, how much they've done. I was speaking to the wife about that. So when we done, we were talking, listening to some bishops one day. We're back, a while back, he said that those eagles fly in a V formation. And what we, we forget to do, and, and when, instead of lifting them up, when they fall, we know we leave them down instead of going back down and get them. Bring them back up so they can lift them up higher. And you know that's unity. And as they fly in their V formation, if you see them fall and lift them back up so y'all can get back to the V and you'll fly a lot higher. I, I need you to help me and confidence with my faith. And faith comes from hearing and hearing people around me talking about Jesus, seeing it and seeing what he's done, healing, seeing what he does, the goodness of him, birthing new babies, you know, that goodness of Jesus, just hearing it and seeing it and believing it. Amen. That's the second point, folks. The first point was that he just believed that he exists. You must believe that he exists. Don't let Satan trick you. Amen. Amen. And third and final point, I need you to remember that God is a rewarder. Seek him. He is a rewarder. And if you seek him, he, he will be there for you in the end. Amen. So when you seek God, comes from, comes from now. Hearing came and and I want to give you guys, just before I close completely, I want to tell you about hearing. Hearing came is a Greek word that came from the uh, akhod, and it was spelled A-K-O-E, meaning hearing. A-K-O-E means hearing. Faith comes from hearing was my text, folks. That was the text. It was a short but meaningful sermon today. And uh, I hope everybody got something out of it, but that was my message for today. And, and that final, uh, third and final point was, God is a rewarder for those who seek him. You seek him, seek, knock, he shall find. The door shall be opened unto you. You have not, because you ask not. Hallelujah. You have not, because you ask not. Now, God will be with you. That is my message for today. Thank God for each and every one of you. And, and I like it. And again, as I close, 
I want to say as we close, God is risen. Jesus has risen. Now will you? If you don't know Jesus, this would be the time. If you don't know Jesus. Now right now is the time if you don't know him. Say with me that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Now anyone out there that said that, said those, said that blessing, said that word, and said that they want to be saved, raise your hand. And then at this time you'll be saved and we'll pray for you. Co Pastor, you want to come forth? We're going to pray. And we're going to pray for each and every one. We're going to pray for the sick and the healing. We're going to pray for the shut in. We're going to pray for the addictions. We're going to pray for the people out there that uh, that that need change broken in their life, strongholds broken down. We want to we want to stand in the gap for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Co Pastor, you coming forth? So we can pray. We thank God for Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to pray. Once again, I will say the Lord's Prayer. For all of you that want to receive Christ in your life or reclaim him. So you can step. You can, so, you can go, so you can go further. Reclaim your uh, what you lost. Get that lukewarm up out of there. He wants you zeal boiling hot. So I yes. say to you, Romans 10, 9. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord of Jesus, that thou shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen? Amen. 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 And Amen. with those words and those words in that order, conviction, confess, repent. Yeah, hallelujah. And you are saved. Hallelujah. Glory to in God. Jesus' name we pray. Go ahead Amen. and pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we just come before you in the name of Jesus. We just thank you for your goodness and mercy, God. Oh, what a wonderful God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. You are a magnificent God. I give you your honor. You woke me up this morning. You started me on my precious way. I thank you. You're blessing my children, my grandchildren, our family, generational blessings. Generational curses are being broken today in the name of Jesus. Name of and Jesus. I thank you, God, for doing it, God. I thank you that someone that received you today is a Lord and Savior. All you yes, wanted was Lord. a yes. Hallelujah. All you want is a yes. And when they totally surrender, hallelujah, God, you will move greatly in yes, their life, Lord. God. You will tear down all the idols. You will break the spirit of pride. You will break the yokes of the enemy. Yes, you will tear Lord. down their gods. Oh, God. God, all they got to do is say yes today. Yes, Lord, yes to your will and yes to your way, God. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, God, for your beautiful, beautiful spirit, God. Pull your spirit on your people like never before. Pull your blessings on them. Open up a window and pour it out that they won't be able to contain it, God. It'll be so much, God. Favor will be everywhere they go. Favor in the marketplace. Favor on their jobs. Favor in the courtroom. Oh, God, move, God, like a mighty whirlwind. Yes, move Lord. like a whirlwind yes, and touch God. God, and anything that's crooked, put it straight. Set it up right. Hallelujah. Yes, and let them know you are God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Touch their minds. We come against drugs. We come against the alcohol, God. People dealing with addiction. We asking you to break their yoke. We asking you to set them free, God. And what they are entangled in, their minds, their spirit, to be broken. So you can come in. So the spirit of God can come in and set in their lives. Uh, to yes. set in their hearts, uh, to go in their lives, uh, to do what you call them to do. Uh, I pray and we pray uh, that yes. no weapons uh, formed against your sons and daughters uh, shall prosper. Uh, and every wagon tongue, uh, every naysayer, uh, they will be cut down, they will be yes. shut down, uh, they will be removed, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against the lying yes. spirit. Uh, we come against anything that's trying to do things wrong. Uh, Trying to separate you from God. Yes, trying to keep you from knowing them. God, move yes, them. Move them out the way. Let yes, them not be the one that say, who is this God? But they can say, this is the God. 
I want to serve. Yes, Let them Lord. know you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, so bless Lord. them today for salvation. Bless them today yes, for peace. Bless them today for joy. Yes, bless Lord. them today for the word of God that is saturated not only in their spirit, but in their heart, God. Let that seed regenerate. Let that seed manifest. Yes, Let that seed uh, prosper. Let that seed grow. It's your faith. All you need is yes, just Lord. a little faith Hallelujah. of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. Do you know how small a mustard seed is? It's very, very tiny, but it can create a great tree. It can create a great forest. It will bless you and build you up. So when the enemy talk, talk to you and tell them you ain't nothing, that faith, that word you read, that word that was poured yes, in Lord. was soon to grow. It will grow and move out that negativity. Move out the things that the enemy trying to say. You ain't worthy, but you are worthy. That's why God kept you alive. That's why God said there's work for you to do in the vineyard. That's why God say he got your back. He will not let you fall. As I read in Psalms 21, he will not not sleep, he will not slumber, but he will be with you all the days of your life. Coming and going, God will be with you and have your way in their life, God. Bless them. Remove the sadness. Remove the worry. He is shaking on the boat, shot. We come against the spirit of worrying. God is a God of blessings. And you, if you turn it over to him, he will make it right. Yes, Lord. Get you some rest. Thank you, Jesus. Get you some peace. We come against that tormented spirit that torments you. Hallelujah. That's, a, that's the enemy. You know who you are. Yes. And what God says you are, that's who you are. Hallelujah. And thank you for them. Blessings, yes. financial breakthrough, and healing in the heart, mind, and soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We all amen. Say, amen. Amen. And it is so. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you all. Like we said, we, uh, we apologize for technical issues, uh, issues earlier. So as far as the YouTube and that, we will be back on with it next week. We do have, we will put the today's uh, sermon on YouTube, but I have to download it this time. Normally it was live, but uh, there was some troubleshooting issues. We have. We uh we uh, thank you and thank you for your uh, patience. God bless you. We love you, and there ain't a thing you can do about it. But I just want to let you know. We'll see you back same time next week, Sunday, same time. I'll come in during the week and uh, iterate a little bit about the technical issues we had, and we'll be moving forward. And uh, we are in the middle of our uh, donations, giving away clothing and brand new clothing. So we'll be distributing that out all week for the next couple of weeks. We'll be getting that out to you guys as we promised. Our yay is our yay and our nay is nay. So we we are trans we keep it transplanted. We are, we, we are excuse me, we are transparent. See, transparency in the name of Jesus. Thank you all for letting us come into your homes this morning. Pray for us as we pray for you. God's Healing Hearts Ministry, Pastor Herman, the co-pastor of your Once again, remember not to forget, send in your donations. You go to the website and send in, you can Zale or or you can um uh, uh, Cash out in the name of Jesus. So all the information is there. We thank you. God bless you. You members, don't forget about your tithes, uh, your offerings, and uh, all donations are welcome as well. Praise God. Praise God for all of you. What I say unto one, I say unto all, watch and pray. See you next week. God bless you. Thank you.